substances dissolve in water? Which substances don't? The materials you'll need are six cups, sugar, pepper, oil, oats, sprinkles, and salt. Measure an equal amount of water into each cup. Now I'm going to mix and see. And finally, the salt. Now, make an observation. Observe and record what happens in each cup. What color is the solution? Did the substance dissolve in water? Well, if you look and see in the sugar, you can see that the sugar has dissolved in the water. The salt, well, the salt has dissolved in water too. The sprinkles, when you mix the sprinkles, you can see some white things going around and those are the sprinkles. The color is purple. Wow! Now, the oats. It hasn't dissolved in water. And the oil. So the oil, you can see the yellow right here. That's the oil. It's floating on top of the water. We have done other experiments using oil and water. One of the experiments is lava lamp. Another is rainbow sandwich. If you've noticed, oil does not mix with water. That means that the oil cannot dissolve. The pepper is floating. Well, it's kind of floating. Some is accumulated in the bottom and some is floating atop. Water molecules are made of polar bonds, meaning they each have a slightly positive end and a slightly negative end. Similar to the way magnets attract other magnets, the positive end of one polar molecule attracts the negative end of another polar molecule. When something like salt is added to water, the positive part of the water molecule attracts the negative part of the salt, while the negative part of the water molecule attracts the positive part of the salt. This is why water will dissolve anything else that is polar or carries a charge like salt, but it won't dissolve something that is made of non-polar bonds, like olive oil. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!